or, uh, excuse me, uh, start off by giving us an overview um, and expectations for the upcoming season? Well, you know, what we did last year is going to be tough to repeat. You always want to do it, and things got to go our way, and that's our goal. Our goal is to go 15-0. and 0. We feel like we've got a great shot at it. Um, all the kids have worked hard, not just these four, but everybody in the program. Um, they've, they've worked hard all summer in the weight room, on the track, passing league stuff. Uh, the linemen have come together. Uh, that, you know, that's the reason, one of the big reasons, you know, we, we're going to have some good athletes and you'll hear these guys talk, but one of the biggest reasons is that our offensive line's intact. And we've, we only lost one kid off the state championship team in the offensive line. And that really gives us a shot at it. And uh, we feel real good about those guys. They did a really good job. And the guy that, you know, rotated in. So all those guys are back on the offensive line. And, and we look, you know, we could conceivably be better football team and not do what we did this past year. Things have to go our way. We have to have a little bit of luck on a lot, a lot of, you know, guys making plays when they have to make plays. And that was the big thing last year is we were able to make plays in key situations and able to overcome penalties. And, you know, it remains to be seen. You know, it's all going to start in the locker room with the chemistry of all the kids. And it's going to, and it's going to be how they respond and react to situations on the field on Friday night. Could you introduce uh, who you have on stage with us and uh, kind of tell us just a, a little bit about each one of them? Okay, to my right, we've got Miles Autry, um, just a pure athlete, does a great job both sides of the ball if we need more offensively, and a specialist returning punts, but he also could be a great defensive back. And got a lot of things going on, one of the top athletes in the nation, you know, recruited by everybody. He's got offers from Ohio State all the way through Alabama, everywhere, Georgia, all the way through. Just a tremendous young man. He's the third Autry to go through Norcross, so I'm proud. I'm proud he's part of our program. Next guy is Lorenzo Carter. Um, came in last year to us in the summer. Has just been a joy to coach. Fine young man, fine family. Same thing with the Autrys, since Miss Autry's sitting right there. I love her. She's great. I, I can't not mention her, but the family's awesome. They've come in and, and, and joined the Norcross family and just have done a tremendous job to fit in. And Lorenzo has uh, come out one of the top, is the top defensive end in the state of Georgia and probably one of the top two in the nation as a five-star recruit. Also being recruited by everybody in the world uh, from, you name it, he's got the offer. And uh, we look for great things out of both these two young men. And then to my left is Blake Wood. He's one of our returning starters on the offensive line. He's one of the leaders of that group, been in the program all the way through youth league, through high school, and, and has just done a great job. And, and throughout the summer, he has worked tremendously hard, just really been proud of the way he's handled himself and what he's done, and we look for him to do great things in the future also, and especially this year. Next young man is, uh, what's your name? Uh, Kevin Mohan. All right, he is another... Uh, another Norcross young man is the second Mohan to come through. You guys remember Silverberry is now playing at Cincinnati. Kevin fits that mold. Great, great football player athlete. You know, he did an unselfish thing last year when Lorenzo moved in. We, we took his hand off the ground at defensive end and moved him to linebacker. Took him a few games to, to uh, come through, but after that, about the second or third game, the young man has flourished. He is also one of the top linebackers in the nation. Next guy on my left is our defensive coordinator, Pat Standard, who's been with me for, for the longest time. Also goes back family history, went to St. Pius. He's a little bit younger than I am, but big part of our program. Uh, first question is for Miles. Uh, everybody wants to know about your knee, uh, where it stands, um, as far as you know, if you can give like a percentage, whether you're 80%, 100%, um, just kind of the way things are for the next uh, couple weeks. Oh. Um, I went to the doctor the other day. Uh, he checked my knee and he said my ACL is pretty good and he just wanted me to keep putting muscles around it. Um, Coach Muth let me do a little bit of 707 the other day, get my feet a little wet, get comfortable mentally, and it was 
pretty good going out there and running routes to my team. So do you feel like you'll be able to play in that first game? Oh yeah, definitely. I'll definitely be ready to play August 24th. Uh, next question is for Lorenzo. Um, as Coach mentioned, you're, you're, you're very highly recruited, five-star. Where do you kind of stand with that whole recruiting process? Are we going to see a decision anytime soon, or is it going to be uh, later on, or what? Um, I plan on making my decision on sign day, so I'm going to write it out. Be patient. Uh, next question is for Blake. Um, Coach Maloof has given a lot of credit to the offensive line for, for you all success last year with you guys having – you know, so many linemen coming back, you being one of them. Uh, does that kind of put uh, pressure on this group again to perform well so that you guys uh, can repeat? Uh, nah, we we just come together. It's not really, we're, we all have the chemistry to do whatever we want. It's just the fact that we just need to figure out what everything's going on with the new quarterback and everything. And we AJ, our new quarterback, he's fit with, well with us, so. I think we'll do good this year. Just good? Great. <laughs> <laughs> Next question for Kevin. Um, I believe I saw a, a tweet uh, a few weeks ago that said that the, the recruiting process was wearing on you, and I think you were getting ready, you were, you were tired of it. Um, kind of where do you stand on that? Uh, has it gotten to the point now you're going to make that decision here quickly or, or what? Uh, I plan on doing it quickly. Uh, the recruiting process is a lot. You know, coaches always try and call you. Uh, hopefully by the next two weeks before the season starts, I uh, should be committed to the school. Uh, do you have a, 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 a kind of a finalist, two or three? Uh, I'm not trying to say that right now, <laughs> <laughs> but it's confidential, so yeah. <laughs> so everybody has a shot then? Yes, sir. Okay. The next question for Coach Standard. Um, you guys statistically had a very good defense last year. Um, with several key pieces coming back with, with Kevin and Lorenzo. Uh, do you feel like you can have just as good a defense or maybe even better? Uh, well, I hope to be better. Uh, I, I, I would thank Coach Maloof because uh, I'm going to give him my medical bill for my high blood pressure now since we have to make Booker T the first game. Um, but, uh, yes, I, I mean, I, Coach, he, he raised the bar for us and we expect to be better. We don't want to be number three and number four in the state. We want to be number one in the state. Uh, gifted with you know Lorenzo and Kevin, uh, other other players. Uh, we got uh, you know we have a, another defensive end that's trying to step up. JB uh, Kawasi and we got you know Jaquan Frazier, a will linebacker, and we got Jordan Nolan, Brandon Gardner, DB. So we're really we expect to be better. Miles will play DB though. I will tell you unless coach says no, but I want to play DB. But yes sir. Expect me, but we should. Okay, first of all, all of you, uh, just want you to know when you come to an event like this, you might want to play on the lights here because you're blinding me with those rings right now. <laughs> those rings. Um, but starting with Miles here, uh, I know we talked a little bit about your knee here. Um, with your brother having uh, gone through a very similar knee injury and then re-injuring it, how much have you guys communicated about, uh, about the kind of rehab you guys are going through and you feel like that's helped you? Oh yeah, I mean, just my brother tore his ACL two months before me. You know, I had questions, a lot of questions before I had surgery. Asked him how it felt and stuff like that. He told me, you know, it hurt, but just keep re rehabbing on it. You'll feel better each week. And by doing what he was saying, you know, I definitely know what he was talking about. And, you know, we communicate sometimes about it. He tell me sometimes what he um, do, what he does in the rehab, and what I tell him what I do in the rehab and stuff like that. We compare and stuff. The, so that be kind of a reversal of, of roles here. When you first got hurt, he's he was gone through it. And he kind of had to be kind of a, a you know uh, somebody who could be a support there. Now had him having it re-injured it. Do you feel like you've had to kind of almost play the big brother role to kind of kind of help motivate him to go through that? Oh, uh, not really. I mean. Him retaining it, everything, doing you know, that to me. Um, I just kept on rehabbing. And he, I mean, he looked good in his eyes, and he's still good. You know, he started jogging the other week. So, I mean, none. It's not me just being a big brother in the world situation. It is. He just got to start back stage one. 
for Lorenzo, uh, having seen some of the, the high profile uh, players that have come through, not only your program, but you know, let's talk about uh, all the, the big seniors that were on, say, Grayson and other places around the county last year. A lot of, a lot of attention, a lot of pressure, really, uh, that comes with winning the state title and then being a huge recruit like that. Do you feel like you, you're ready for that kind of responsibility this year? And how is it different than when you first came in the last year and kind of flew under the radar? Well, I mean, it's just fun. Pressure, all the pressure, we love it. I think football, we wouldn't really have fun if we weren't under pressure. So every night we know we got to come out and play our best. And I feel like that's my responsibility to make my teammates step up. So. If they're not playing great, then I put it all on my back. Um, I got to take more responsibility this year. Lorenzo, what's your thoughts on that uh, season opening game against Booker T? Uh, obviously, the Florida State champs, but it's also going to be on ESPN. Uh, everybody loves to, you know, to open the season. Um, but the, you know, the added excitement of that opponent that y'all have on a national stage. Just talk to me about your, your thoughts on that game. It's going to be exciting. Um, I feel bad for whoever can't watch it. Um, I mean. I've seen a couple of players at the opening, and I think they have a great team, but I feel like we have a better team. So it's going to be good. Um, this is going to be a heavyweight battle. This question is for Coach Malouf. Last year, um, you mentioned the leadership of uh, Kamara and Wilbur. Um, this year, do you kind of have the same situation as far as is there two players that you're really relying on for leadership uh, to ultimately lead to the success of this team? Well, I feel like Lorenzo and, and Kevin, They've got to carry the defense and the team. And then, you know, Miles, depending on how he does, and he's got to get – we got to get him comfortable. He was a little timid the other day, which is which is understandable. And as time comes in, his confidence will come back, and then he will be able to put a little bit more pressure on him to be able to, you know, take the load. And then our offensive line. I mean, I, I just really feel real good going into it with those guys coming back. We have to stay healthy in the line of scrimmage. You know, we had a lot of depth last year. That remains to be seen. We got a good bit of depth this year, but you, you don't want to lose any of those front five to, to injuries. And that's what kept us in the ball game last year. We were, we were really injury free other than Miles late in the season. And he was able to come back and make a key play in the game to help us win a state title. But, you know, it, the team, they've got to figure their chemistry out. They've got to figure out who you know, we lose a great quarterback, we lose a great tailback, but we've got all the other ingredients to, to do the same thing. And, you know, A.J. Bush moving in, he, he's really done an awesome job. It, it really, by A.J. moving in, it made us better on defense because we were able to take Ray and Ridwan and move him to defensive corner. And we did that the first week. He had an offer from Western Kentucky playing defensive back in spring practice. So it really made us not only better on offense, but it made us better on defense because we were able to move Ray to a corner where we were we were going to be weak after two, three-year starters left us last year. And so that kind of solidified the defense a little bit more. And with A.J., we just got to figure out what he can do right now. Coming in spring late, we don't know if we're going to be able to sit back in the pocket. I don't know if he's going to get antsy yet. We really haven't put that kind of pressure on him. And we knew what we had with Joseph. We just don't know what we have with AJ and how he's going to handle situations. And this is where Miles and, and, and Blake come in and, and really get the offense comfortable if, if he's a little bit shaky at first. Next question is for Blake. Uh, I was just wondering, what's it like going up against uh, guys like Lorenzo and, and Kevin in practice? Uh, obviously, you're facing you know, two of the state's best. Uh, every day, so that's going to you know make you better. But I mean, um, are you one to, to get the best of them, or are they one to get the best of you? Is it fifty fifty? Just what's it like going up against uh, both of these guys? Uh, it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we get better when we face each other. We, during spring, we did a lot of one on ones every every single day. Even though some of us down, it just made us better pretty much. It was it was hard, but. It, I think by doing that a lot, it, can, it gets us closer because when we, because we like to compete. That's within the team we love competing because you always hear offense versus defense. We're always competing with each other, but at the end of the day, it's always like a unity. We're a family. So, coach, going back to what I asked uh, about Lorenzo here, uh, 
like it, it's a little bit different scenario coming in this year as the hunted rather than the hunters, I guess. Uh, how have you ad addressed, you know, the difference between you know, trying to get to the top and trying to stay at the top with the, with the kids? You know, success is a lot like failure. You have to manage it. And this, this group did a great job last year handling success. I don't see it different being different this year. Yeah, we've, we've got a big target on our backs right now. And coming out top team in the state, one of the top teams in the nation playing on ESPN, I think it has raised their level of work ethic. Not only individually, not, not just these guys. These guys are going to work. I mean, they're, they're, there's the, they have no choice but to work. But what it's done for us is that the, the midline play, those guys have stepped up to be a great player. And if these guys can get those guys to play at a level that they, they didn't think they could, that's where it all enhances our football team. You know, these guys are going to play at the level they need to play for us to be successful. It's that kid that might not go to college or that kid that's going to be on a great high school football team. This is their job to get those guys to play at a high level. And to answer your question, Lorenzo hit it right on the head. We, we love pressure. You know, walking in at halftime being down, a touchdown, I mean, we didn't like it, but we, we were okay with it. And, and, and they were able to get through it. And by the fourth quarter, we knew we could manhandle or wear some people down. And that's the same thing this year. You know, some teams are going to be able to play with us in the first, second quarter. But hopefully by the third, fourth quarter, our depth and our size can take over. And, and then we just start playing football. This question's for uh, Kevin. How's life changed being a state champion? Life's good. Everybody's trying to get out of us and have a little competition. Each day we just work hard in the weight room every morning. And we're just trying to stay at the top because that's where we're going to be at for the next years. Do you feel like um, you guys are perceived a little bit differently when you go to um, maybe a seven-on-seven -seven, uh, passing tournament or um, maybe you're just out in the community, um, just you and your buddies? Uh, do you guys feel like you're perceived differently than what maybe you were a year before winning the state title? I mean, at the seven-on-seven -seven tournaments, you know, everybody's trying to get at us, you know, to make one little play, and they all get happy. Um, I mean, everybody's really gunning at us, so that's what it is. And in the community, they see us in the community, and they know that we're in our class. We're going to be, like, great, you know, great personality off the field and on the field, and just great character. This question is for Coach Belief. Other than uh, uh, Norcross, who would you consider a, a favorite to, to win the region crown this year? I mean, you could look at Mill Creek, great young quarterback who came in last year, sophomore. They're going to be they're going to be on top. You can look at North Gwinnett. That you know they're solid year in and year out. It's a great rival with us. You know they just got to move in from Chattahoochee, moved in and tell that makes them a little bit better on offense. Um, Peace Street Ridge always is going to have a great football team and Collins Hill. I mean, you you got to put us five right there. And depending on what Duluth does, it's it's one of the toughest regions in the state of Georgia. I, I mean, the Mountain View's up and coming. So the top four or five are going to be there, and that's it, it can be up for grabs. You know, if if we slip up, then it's anybody's. But right now, hopefully, we do what we need to do to stay at the top. That is our goal, and uh, we're not ready to re relinquish the region yet. You know, we're we're going to go at it as hard as we can. All right, coach. Thank you.